everyday DIY pool legends. Just wanted to give you a bit of a spoiler alert that this isn't the full length version of this particular video. It's just a little bit of an introduction so you can see the type of information that we do provide, but the full length video is just for our customers. Hope you enjoy watching this short little sample. G'day DIY pool legends. Well today we're going to be talking about plumbing a pool when you've got separate fittings for your heating system and this is the deep end pool wall and you can see the two safety suctions sitting there. Now the reason why they're called safety suctions is if a little person gets stuck onto one of the fittings all the suction pressure shifts to the other and the little person can swim to safety. Now this is the water source for the pump that's separate to your filtration. So you're running a circuit that is separate for your heating to your filtration. Now the important part with this is the fittings have to be teed together behind the pool wall and then you run a single line back to the pump. And that's to make sure that that safety feature works as intended. So with this pool, the safety suction is mounted on one side of the pool and with the other in the middle. Often they're going to be in the middle of the deep end pool wall and they're going to be 900 mil apart center to center. But we thought we'd show you this one because there's a couple of extra steps with it being off to the side. What size pipe work is the installer using? I hear you say, well, at the shallow end of the pool, so the return lines, these are all 40 mil. Now, some people use 50 mil all round. It does make a little bit of a difference, but as a general rule, in all of the pools that we're supplying, the fittings have 40 mil fittings in the shallow end. So make sure that you get a combination of both. Now, as you can see here, the heating return line is all sorted. So the last part is to tee together the filtration return lines. Now you're gonna tee them together for exactly the same reason as the safety suction. Well, there you have it. Just a little sample of the video that we provide. We know from our customers all over the country that these videos make a huge difference to putting the pool in and enjoying the process and getting a fantastic outcome with your DIY pool. The name of the game is you want to absolutely save thousands of dollars on your pool, but when someone comes over and has a look at your pool, they shouldn't be able to tell whether you put the pool in yourself, you used a local installer, or you went to a full service, full price pool builder. And that's what these videos and all of our supporting documentation is all about. If you'd like to learn more, you can get in touch with us through the website and talk to the team. We'd love to hear about your project and how we might be able to help.